What is your part in this emerging leadership? It requires kind of a deep listening to, to find and discern what is ours in this new landscape, right? When, it, when a wave recedes on the beach, the, the beach is transfigured by the presence of that wave. And there's a new landscape that's left behind, that calls us. And so how are we being called? One of the ways that I notice we who are left behind are being called is to, to um, bring up, to f discover and uncover and praise the great jewels of the world's spiritual traditions that these masters were the keepers of and to bring them forth, to not let them disappear. And yet there is a way in which the traditional religious forms for many of us are no longer the only option. In fact, in many ways, the traditional religious forms feel like limitations to many of us, whether we can say that out loud or not. And I'm going to say it out loud. The boxes of the religions are uh, somewhat limiting to this fire that's burning in our souls that melts the divisions between us and affirms our essential interconnectedness, which doesn't mean we throw the spiritual bath water baby out with the religious bathwater. It, it means that there are these gorgeous spiritual treasures need to be carried forth and celebrated and shared at the same time that we're open to the possibility of merging them in new and exciting ways. So I think many of you have been feeling this call that I'm naming, you know, that you have these interspiritual hearts or these interspiritual souls that recognize the presence of the sacred in many holy spaces and are not quite sure how to honor this emerging wisdom and this emerging leadership, like you are those leaders and you're sitting here. <laughs>